guys it's Nicole welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter so today I'm working in my uh, new menu new year junk journal I was thinking of doing another recipe um, possibly for breakfast or maybe uh, an appetizer but instead I remembered that my mom showed me this little thing that she made here I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like but I think we can actually make one and use it in our junk journal similar to the way that we use a book marker or um, a page marker and uh, this is what it looks like I made a little prototype of it it is a um, it's made of craft paper but it's like a little corner marker that you can place over you can just slip this over the tops of your pages like so and um, and then mark yourself in your journal where you last left off and it's clearly visible based on its size uh, in the journal itself so I think I'm gonna make another one of these this was just my little prototype and uh, this was my recipe that I made a six ingredient chicken pot pie which turned out phenomenal by the way uh, yeah so back to our little corner marker our book marker or page marker um, it's just made of craft paper it has three elements to it so a front side a middle spine area on both sides or on two sides and then a back side okay so I'm going to make one. Um, I have another one that's all lined up here. And the important thing about making this thing is that it has to be a square. It has to start off with even, even uh, measurements on both sides. Okay, so here's another one that's pretty small. I was about to glue the sides on and then I was like, let me just turn on my camera and show you guys how easy it is to make this. Now I have paint on my fingers because I'm also in the middle of a furniture renovation. So my life is crazy guys. Like the chronicles are real. Like <laughs> I may not chronicle every single thing that I do every day, but for the most part, yeah, paint indicates that I am in the process of painting something um, outside of the craft room. I'm going to be using my little scalloped edge um, punch right here. It makes this little pretty scalloped uh, edge on everything. Um, and it's so simple to use as long as you follow the, um, the little um, stamped pieces that are showing you how to access the paper inside of the stamp. And then you'll get perfect stamping every single time or punching, I should say, every single time. All right. So... Let's just try one of these. I am going to use some much fancier paper than my craft paper here. So I'm going to grab some of this pretty double-sided paper that I believe I picked up at the Stamp and Scrapbooking Expo last year. And it's double-sided, pretty on one side, not so pretty on the other, but it's still very, you know, so different but this right here has like you know produce and fruits and vegetables on one side so I figured it would be a perfect little element to add to my journal for new year new menu okay I'm gonna close this up and move it out of the way because what I need to do is cut this down to maybe so okay this one is I want to say a four by four and this one's a three by three this one is a two by two and you can see like the vast difference in the sizes of the two of them a two by two would be ideal uh, it would still be very visible from the side of the book but I think a two by two is still um, a sizable uh, object for inside of a journal so let's just go ahead and make another two by two I'm gonna grab my small guillotine which is somewhere on my desk okay so here's my little mini guillotine I'm gonna cut this down to just two inches now it is probably six inches wide but I'm just gonna need two inches of it so I'm just gonna cut it right here and put this aside for later use and then I'm going to cut this down to two inches as well um, twice right because we need two of these so I'm going to cut it here at two inches and then I'm going to cut another one at two inches so far so simple right guys like I try to keep it simple for you guys 
because I don't like complex projects myself. And then we still have another little two inch section that we can use. Actually, we can use that two inch section for our um, spines because the whole thing measures two inches and this will fit in there perfectly. But we really only need about a half inch for the spine. So I'm just gonna line this up, try to get it as even as possible for a half inch spine. Okay, and then I'll do that a second time because we need two of them. This is the most tedious part. Actually, this isn't the most tedious part. I'll show you guys what is next. Okay, so we need this piece and we need this piece. And you can even use the back side for contrast if you like. I think that'll go well with this. But here's the most tedious part is scoring your spine pieces. So I have a half inch spine. I need to score this at 3 eighths. Okay, so this is where it gets a little tricky. You gotta hold your page very close to that edge, score it at 3 eighths, and then get it in that corner. You have to keep it in that corner, and then score it again at 1 eighth. All right, so even though that may not be exact, it may not be perfect, um, it can be adjusted. All right, and then do the same thing for the other little little tiny spine piece again hold it in that corner very tightly and then score it at three eighths and then you know push it up in that corner really close and then score it at one eighth or you can do one eighth first and then first and then the three eighths doesn't really matter all right so there's that i am going to fold over my little spine pieces on those score marks so I'm just going to fold that over. I think I'm going to do some contrast. So I'm going to fold it over onto the brown side of the page, leaving the decorated side to be on the inside. So yeah, this is a very, very tiny project. Something small that you can put into any junk journal I think will work. Um, two inches, as you saw, three inches is a little too big. Anything bigger than that, you're using up like, you know, half your page. <laughs> you'll be covering up half your page with a corner marker and that's not really feasible. So it, I think a two inch by two inch marker um, does make the perfect sense for a junk journal. So yeah, I am just bone folding my creases down and then I'll reopen up those creases just like so to get some glue onto them when we are ready to glue them down okay so there's those two pieces here I can zoom you guys in just a little bit I think that's I think you guys were a little bit too far away all right so I want to make sure that my two pieces are right side up so I'm looking at this right here as my corners and I will be scallop edging over here okay so let's just flip this around and pop it into the scallop edge punch and I'm just gonna jam the whole thing in there at any point and punch it alright so you can see that that left a little piece right over here in this corner so all you really got to do is line up your scallops with the previous um, section on the punch and then punch it again it works every single time okay so it finished scalloping that edge for me okay so like I said this is my top corner where everything is right side up I am going to scallop edge this side as well so I'm gonna flip everything around and tuck it back into the scallop punch making sure it's even everything has to be even okay so that scalloped edged again. Again, if you want to even everything up, you just shove it back in there, line things up on the side, punch it again. If you're not happy with this corner, like right over here, you can stick it back in and punch it again. Okay, so this um, design is pretty self, um, self explanatory, I suppose you can say. 
because it kind of does all the work for you it takes all the guesswork out of everything all right so here we have our two little pieces they're perfectly even perfectly sized uh, to do the exact same thing I'm just going to take my two spine pieces some art glitter glue and we're going to glue these spines onto the uh, little corner corner markers that we made so this is where things get a little hairy you gotta be ginger gingerly placing these on here and as you can see like it's a little too big so I am just going to snip off one edge once you scallop uh, cut the um, the corner markers it shortens the project just a little bit and you'll find that your corner markers does not really fit so what am I doing okay so I need to place this on the inside right this is going on the inside right here and I'm just gonna hold that in place for just a second so there's my spine right there it's like a little matchbook almost so I'm just going to hold that there for a moment and let that start getting tacky before I start maneuvering it any more than I need to. And um, we can do the same thing for the other side. So this one is going to go right inside of here. So I'm going to glue down this edge right here. And just a little bit of art glitter goes a long way because this stuff dries quickly and it does not give you much time for maneuverability so I'm just going to uh, let that start uh, getting tacky on its own and then I'm going to tuck it underneath here at the previous spot this is such a tiny project but it's fun it's a fun little tiny project that will um, it'll make my journal super cute okay so I've got that piece tucked under but I forgot to cut it right because like I said when you scallop your edge sorry about the blur when you scallop your edge this piece right here is a little bit too long so now I really have to wait till this dries before I cut it but in the interim, you can see how easily and how quickly this project comes together, right? So you just want to line up your other piece and add a little bit of glue right along the edge here. And along the edge here. And then you can adhere your top section to right about there comes together really quickly guys but it looks so so professionally done so cute when you're finished and um, yeah it's super useful okay so there we have our little corner marker I will snip away this edge when I'm done once it starts to dry um, and I'll know when it's dry because this glue dries pretty clear it's uh, art glitter it dries clear and um, everything will be nice and even and then I could just snip off that edge right there but there's our little corner marker guys like so simple to do super cute I think this will make such a great addition to my um, recipe junk journal my new year new menu junk journal so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys I hope you guys give this project a try don't forget like if you do try this project tag me okay just at Chronicles of a Crafter, wherever you post your projects, tag me. And I'll definitely show up there and show you guys some love. I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel. Because without you guys, I wouldn't have anything to do all day. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like, I would just be talking to myself all day long. Making things in my craft room by myself. So thank you guys for 
subscribing to the channel and um, watching my videos and liking the videos, commenting on these videos. It really does help my channel to grow, especially when you guys share these videos with your friends and family. That also helps the channel to grow. So I do appreciate each and every one of you for considering the um, hitting that bell for notification after you subscribed because that notifies you every time I upload a new video. All right. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for um, all of your contributions to the channel. Chronicles of a Crafter is growing and I do appreciate it. All right. So give this video a thumbs up if you do like the content here and um, yeah, we'll just continue growing. Don't forget to check out my one link down below in the description box. It's the uh, link tree. That'll take you to all of my other links, um, and including my Amazon storefront and my Buy Me a Coffee, as well as my Instagram, Etsy shop, etc. And uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. I will definitely talk to you guys in the next video. Stay naturally curious. Go do something crafty today, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.